my name is Joe and welcome to Tigers Altcoin News. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, on the brink of war and what will happen to Bitcoin if a war breaks out. I just want to input on what everybody thinks that would happen if a war were to break, were to break out. Um, it's been a rough month. It's been a very interesting month. Um, one thing I've been taught in my trading classes was not only uh, concentrate on what's happening on the exchanges and the coin trading and all the stuff going on in crypto, but also all the stuff going out on outside of crypto that could affect the price, such as uh, politics wars rumors of wars and right now we have rumors of wars going on that might end up becoming a war and let me just go through some of the stuff that's happened this month there's been so much that's happened this month that i can't cover it all but just go through pieces of it we have on the 6th of april reports of uh U.S. Uh, shooting Tomahawk missiles at a Syria base. Um, then we have them dropping the Moab in Afghanistan, which was the start of more shit to come. And the Syrian attack kind of pissed off the Russians and a bunch of other people. And I'm not sure how many people got pissed off about this one, but on to north korea which is the biggest thing right now going on um they they are crazy people they are insane and um they had a parade and they're showing off new missiles and i'm sitting here wondering like okay where the fuck are you getting all this stuff from like Holy crap, are you getting it from the Chinese? Are you getting it from the Russians? Are you getting it from everywhere? Just putting your own stuff together? Like, wow. But now this has posed a big problem. And they had a parade. And now they even shot a missile test. They had a missile test the day after the parade. And what's funny about that is that the missile test failed and some say it had something to do with some kind of secret uh hacking program that the united states has who knows if if it was i'll doubt if they'll say anything about it um then new york time has the aircraft carrier going towards the korean pe peninsula which was a bunch of fluff because uh they didn't go anywhere and now i guess uh, there's reports of them starting to head that way um that's one thing you don't want to send fluff to a place like korea because they're gonna be like oh you're just like every other president you're not gonna go through with your shit you know and then that's just gonna make them push out more but then we got the chinese they put 150,000 troops on the border of North Korea, about 8 miles off, 8, 10 miles off the border, I think, or right on the border. I think it was Russia that had troops off the border. But, yeah, they put these troops right off uh, the border of North Korea. Um, now, uh, North Korea and China are supposed to be allies, and... I don't know if they're just not seeing eye to eye. I don't know if uh, this is in case the U.S. attacks or it be your retaliation on us. If talks went good, but uh, from what I heard, China owns a good bit of the Bitcoin. Uh, a big, big share of it. I know they control most of the mining and stuff like that, so... You know, that could affect Bitcoin price a pretty good bit. Um, and then we, just like I said, we had Russia moves forces to the Korean border ready for war. Um, 
this is something I'm kind of confused about because Russia was pretty pissed off about uh, Syria. So I don't know what kind of reaction we're going to get from them. If they're there to help, if they're there against us, like, you know, chime in, tell me what you think, because I really don't know what to think, especially after I've seen this right here. Uh, the U.S. intercepts two Russian F-22 bombers off the coast of Alaska. Now, from news reports, this is the closest that a Russian bomber has been to uh, the coast in a long while. So why would they fly these bombers so close to our coast? Was it a dry run? Was like, I'm like totally confused. You're putting people on the border of North Korea, but you're also flying these bombers, which I think are capable of holding nuclear bomb, uh, small nuclear bombs, I'm not sure. But that's kind of scary, you know? And then today, North Korea makes a video, a propaganda video, showing the United States being destroyed by nuclear attacks. Now, if that ain't something that says, hey, we're finna try to get up on your butt, I don't know what it is, but, you know, that kind of had me a little stint in my seat, like, what the heck? I remember a month ago, Trump was saying, oh, well, um, the rapper was making videos of of him shooting somebody that looked like um, that looked like uh, Trump or looked like a president. But yet, you know, you got these people making videos of them blowing the United States up. But I don't see the reaction from that. Like I seen the reaction from the Snoop Dogg video. You wanted to boycott him and everything. You know, I just don't understand. But let's get on to other news that's more related to crypto. Uh, we have one of the largest uh, U.S. dollar exchange holding deposits now. And not, I don't think they're taking money either from the U.S. And that is uh, Bifinex. And there's been a lot of talks about this. Um, people saying money has been stolen from there, some 700 million, something like that. Nobody really knows what's going on, but it's pretty, it's causing a pretty big fluff right now. And there's a lot of people worried, like, what the heck, you know, what's going on? And here we go with our next exchange, OKCoin. Uh, Bitcoin freezes the U.S. dollar. Now, this is a Chinese exchange. But you're going to freeze U.S. dollars, but you got troops on the border of North Korea, uh, I guess, claiming they're going to help us with this. But then we got exchanges that are stopping the U.S. dollar deposits and withdrawals like I mean somebody please just like comment on this give me a little uh information tell me what you think like this is just like I don't know what to think right now like I mean I must I don't trade on either one of these exchanges but I do trade on a lot of other exchanges and I, I'm starting to get fearful that this is going to spread to other exchanges too. Not only do I have U.S. exchanges, but I got exchanges in the Netherlands and Sweden. And there's exchanges in, uh, I think, one of the uh, Yopits in Russia or Germany. I'm not sure, but I'm sure it's up that way. And, you know, being a trader, you don't want your money messed with. You work hard on trading to earn your money and this is just insane and i'm wondering if this has anything to do with uh the rumor of wars that's going on or all the tensions that's rising behind this north korea thing 
and people uh, taking sides or don't know what side they want to take right now. It's like they're kind of playing the fence. Like, yeah, we're with you, but yeah, we'll fly planes close to your land. And, you know, it's kind of don't understand it. Now, the Bitcoin US dollar, I'll, we'll look at the trading view chart. And I noticed that when this all kicked off, it was like the six. So let's go down to the six. That's, yep, that's the six. So on the six, when all this started kicking off with the Moab missiles and stuff, we see it start taking off and then, you know, kind of leveling out and then taking off again so it the price hasn't really went down after all this crap that has been going on it's been kind of going up a little bit but kind of like a uh, fight between the down and the up what scares me is this point right here which is the 15th which i think was around the north korean parade and the missile test and all the real hype and we see somebody floor this joker all the way down to $898. Like, wow. Are you kidding me? That's uh, that's a little wild right there. You know, I, I just don't know what's going to happen from here. If we go into all-out war with North Korea or whoever's with us or whoever's against us, what's going to happen? Like... Here goes the drop right here when uh, Bifinix uh, came out with their, and they're not doing this and uh, with the U.S. Uh, dollar, and you can see how it's just like kaboom, and then it kind of picks itself back up. So, not really a Mount Gox yet, or a, um, who was that one I was in that went down? I lost a lot of money on. I can't remember right now. It's probably good. I can't remember because it kind of made me mad. I lost a good bit of Bitcoin in that one. Um, but Cripsy, that's what it was. Cripsy. Yeah, Cripsy went down and I mean the price went down, but not as bad as it did with Mt. Cox. And I'm hoping that these other exchanges doesn't cause the price to like just tumble on down to the bottom uh, it's kind of a little worrying right now I mean it's okay to see downs and ups you're gonna see downs you know but when you see it drop to nine hundred eight hundred dollars like that like I just showed earlier like wow that is just insane look at that look at that that is like Where's the volume on this right here? I'm looking for a BTC volume. Let's see if it. I can't tell. It's not showing. There it goes right there. That says 1185 the high. So it went from 1185. Uh, Go 11 1186 down to 900. Like, are you serious? That's like a $200 drop, just like that. Boom! Like, somebody wanted to get the heck out and get the heck out quick. Why? Who knows? Maybe it has something to do with all this rumor of wars going on, but I like to know everybody's comments. What do you think will happen if? A war breaks out we do you think Bitcoin will survive the war um, do you think that Bitcoin will get higher and stay strong I mean um, I don't know I've never been through a war before so I don't, I don't know what would happen you know uh, history shows that stock markets and everything crashes during the war so I can only expect it to like totally crash especially if one certain country controls a big majority of the Bitcoin and then you start seeing all this crazy stuff happening with exchanges back to back it's kind of kind of puts everybody on edge so tell me what you think be respectful if not I'll just delete you 
Well, let's have a good conversation about this. Until next time, keep them altcoins rolling.